Legion Field in the Magic City for the traditional season's ender with the University of Alabama. It's cold, about 45 degrees, with a wind of some 15 to 18 miles an hour blowing in over the north end zone. Kicking occupied a place of paramount importance in this game. Here, only moments deep in the first quarter, Alabama's Tommy White is back to kick with a strong wind in his face. He is rushed hard. He kicks out of bounds on 12 yards from the line of scrimmage at the Alabama 36. But officials rule that there was roughing of the kicker, so Alabama gets possession at their own 38. The first quarter was a standoff. Early in the second quarter, Alabama started a relentless drive up the field. Pat Trammell passes to Billy Richardson at the Auburn 46 for a 21-yard gain. It's Trammell again with the ball. This time he fails to find an open man and has to run with it. But he finds the way open and makes it to the Auburn 22-yard line before Joe Dolan stops the 24-yard run. It's Trammell again. His pass to Gary Phillips is good for seven yards to the Auburn 14. But the drive bogs down at the 11-yard line, and Tommy Brooker will attempt a field goal for the Crimson Tide. It's good, and Alabama leads 3 to nothing. And that's the way she stands at halftime. Alabama received to start the second half and immediately begins a sustained drive. It was not spectacular in nature, but it was gainful like Billy Richardson there going for eight yards up to the 45. And there's little Marlon Scooter Dyes with eight more yards to the Auburn 47-yard line before Bobby Wasden makes the tackle. But this drive ends deep in Tiger territory when Lamar Rawson grabs off a Pat Trammell pass at the 10-yard line and returns it to the 22. But the Tigers fail to move the ball, and after three downs, Joe Dolan is back to kick. And he gets away a sensational punt that rolls dead at the Alabama 25-yard line. Then the Tide hammers out a series of eight and nine-yard gains through the line. From the 48, Billy Richardson moves down to the Auburn 39-yard marker as Jimmy Pettis makes the tackle. Then on the next play, lightning struck. Bobby Skelton passing. It's good to Marlon Dice. Almost tackled first by Lamar Rawson, then by uh, Jimmy Pettis. But he eludes them and goes 48 yards for the Alabama score. The extra point made it Alabama 10, Auburn nothing. Then in the fourth quarter, Auburn begins a march. Billy Richardson of Alabama fumbles. Joe Dolan recovers at the Auburn 18. And this starts a beautifully engineered Auburn drive. Bobby Hunt with the ball. Fails to find a receiver. But runs for 12 yards up to the 34-yard line. Then later, Ed Dias, all reliable up the center, moves it out to the 42-yard line. Bobby Hunt mixes his plays nicely here. Bobby Wasden hauls in a pass at the Alabama 41-yard line. It's these bread-and-butter plays that move the ball downfield from the Auburn 18 to the Alabama 14. But they're disaster strikes. Billy Richardson intercepts a pass at the Alabama 10, and that ends the drive and any chance of scoring. And so it goes into the books as an Alabama victory 10 to nothing. It had been a long winter, and the thirsty Crimson Tiders drank deeply of the victory.